Alright guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn about layout management and this video is going to really help you when you are deciding how to put your widgets like buttons and calendars or input edit text box. It's going to really help to organize them very nicely. Now you can obviously do the layouts using code too, but I see no reason to do it with code because Qt Designer makes it so much easier to do it using its inbuilt features. And obviously code gives you a little bit more flexibility, but I feel that Qt Designer gives you 99% flexibility and maybe the code gives you 100% flexibility, but the learning curve of the code is much, much higher. So I'll highly recommend doing the layout part using Qt Designer and even organizing and creating your GUI at least using the Qt Designer. So let's get started by creating a very simple main window. And if you see on the left hand side, there are four kinds of layout, the vertical layout, the horizontal layout, the grid layout and the form layout. We are going to be talking about these one by one. So the first thing is about the vertical layout. Whenever you want to organize your things or your widgets vertically in a stacked manner, then we use the vertical layout. So for example, if I have a couple of buttons, let's say over here, and if I try to organize them in a straight line, Let's say over here and I put a button over here. You can see that they are not aligned properly. The right edge is not aligned properly of all the four buttons. And in this method, you can just select all of the four buttons and then click on this layout vertically over here. And you can see that the all four buttons will be properly arranged. And then you can just drag them around. And if you want to give more space between the buttons, so for example, over here, you can just click on the red area or the space between the buttons on the right hand side in the properties box you'll be able to see a lot of properties so the first property we are going to see is the layout spacing which is really important this is the basically the space between different buttons so for example if we increase the space to 20 you'll be able to see that the buttons have much more space between them and then let's talk about the margin so for example if we add something like a uh, let's say a calendar or something like that and we want some space basically between these buttons and uh, let me move this and let's say it's over here and let's say we want some space between these buttons and this calendar you can either drag it on the right hand side or you can use the margin feature so for example over here we can just give some margin of the left hand side and let's give a margin of 20 pixels and when we press enter you'll be able to see that this this buttons these buttons have moved a little bit to the right hand side and there's a little bit of space in this box so i feel this gives you a lot more control over your buttons and the placement of the widgets but it's not really necessary to use the margin functionality but if you want the margin at the top or the right or the bottom or the left you can just use this feature so now let's understand about let's say a different layout so obviously the horizontal layout is also going to be kind of the same so if we have a lot of buttons and you want to organize them horizontally you can just select all of them and kind of click on this layout horizontally button and these will be organized horizontally now there are two ways to add these buttons to these layout. The first way is selecting all of them and then clicking on whether we want it vertically or horizontally or whatever we want. And the second way of doing it is actually just clicking on this vertical layout and just dragging this vertical layout to our screen and just increasing the size to whatever we want and then dragging the buttons to this layout. So for example, we can add the first button and the second button and you can see that these buttons have taken the size or the width of this layout. So we don't have to increase the size of the buttons. Now, if you want to decrease the size of the buttons, we can just decrease the size of this layout and these buttons will be decreased automatically. So this is one of the benefits of actually dragging it out on the screen. You don't have to worry about increasing or decreasing the size. It becomes a lot more easier. So now that we have discussed the horizontal layout, the vertical layout, let's talk about the grid layout. And this comes in really, really handy in a way that we want to arrange widgets in a row and columns manner. So for example, let's say we have a button over here. We have a button over here and we have three buttons on this one line then let's say we have two buttons over here and let's say we want just a single button let's say somewhere on the middle so you can see this is in kind of in a grid manner we have three buttons on the first row two buttons on the second row and on the last row we only have one button and you can see that the first column has two buttons the third the second column that is from top to bottom has three buttons this one two three and the last column only has one button but you can see these are not aligned properly so what you can do is you can just select all of them and then just go to grid over here lay out in a grid and click on that and you can see they have been arranged properly you can see that this one is in the middle and uh, yeah the, basically they are all the same and you can just obviously drag and drop it around and uh, just organize it in a way you want 
So this is the grid layout. It basically helps arrange the widgets in a row and columns manner. And the last one is the form layout. These basically layouts have two columns. So for example, let's say we have a couple of buttons over here, the first button, the second button. And in this one, you can only arrange them in columns. So we are gonna just drag and drop. Let's actually drag and drop a checkbox and this command button and let's select them all and click on this form button. You can see that they have been arranged in two columns. So whenever you want to arrange the, any kind of items in two columns, you can use this form layout. And even in the icon, you can see that the grid one has this grid image and the form layout has this column image, which has two columns. So you can kind of understand it also with its icons. So guys, this was a very, very simple video. It, this video is kind of to help you understand these layout functionalities because I don't see a lot of people discussing them and they are really, really important. Obviously you can just drag and drop things. So for example, what I used to do was, so for example, I, if I wanted to align a text box and let's say a line edit box, I used to manually actually check whether it's properly aligned or not. Now you can just select them and click on this words vertically aligned manner and these will be vertically aligned. You can decrease or increase the size. So yeah, guys, this is pretty much it for this video and I'll see you in the next one.